general uh, way of uh, uh, making a correction uh, for yourself in a uh, given social situation, uh, one common theme that arises is that is that of feeling uh, trapped in the uh, in the circumstance, finding uh, ourselves uh, locked into it, uh, not being able to find a way to divorce ourselves or separate ourselves from the difficulties in the in the situation, for whatever reasons may occur, uh, usually having to do with giving ourselves uh, faulty beliefs, such as uh, if I leave this one, then there'll never be anyone else. Uh, if I uh, if I leave this, how will I be able to sustain myself? How will I be able to live? Uh, how will I support myself? Etc. Uh, it's there are so many different reasons we give ourselves to keep us trapped in the, in the situation. By the way, I call these false beliefs that we have, which are all future-based. That is, you'll notice that in the way I've uh, defined them and stated them, they all have to do with something about what the future holds for us. It's a way of looking at life, which we can't possibly know what the future can be. But yet we're conditioned to always think that way, to find, to look at the future as something that we can control and have some knowledge about. But it doesn't work, as you can see from your own life experience. It doesn't give us an answer that we've been searching for. Rather, this gives an answer, what I'm about to tell you, I think, gives a, a greater answer to how we could proceed. And this general exercise I found to be really helpful. So you can uh, imagine yourself uh, in a prison cell. And uh, since this is imagination and anything can happen, it doesn't follow the laws of logic. Uh, you look around the cell, and if it's dark, you can bring with you any light that you need to look around and find the other key. And take the key and open the cell door. Bring the key with you, always knowing that you can come back to the prison if you wish to, that it's always available to you to return. But as you leave the, the cell and walk out uh, beyond the bars, you ask then the prison guard that's there uh, that uh, you found the way and uh, you therefore have discovered something that gives you a sense, a direction to freedom and you want to pass by to uh, find your, your, your own way. And the guard, uh, n the guard nods assent and you then uh, thank him for giving the opportunity to leave and you find beyond him three steps and you walk up these three steps and ascend them and find there a door and you open the door and walk out into freedom and note what you see what you sense what you feel sense means the physical experience what you feel the mental experience what you see and then and can say to yourself as you uh, find this new possibility for yourself, freedom. I would recommend that you do this exercise every morning for three weeks, just like that, just taking a few seconds to some seconds to do it with the intention of freeing yourself from the habitual experience that has uh, occurred in your life, uh, for which you've become attached to and for whatever the reason have remained attached and is uh, upending really your life energy and your feeling of uh, being and, and has created a, 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 a lack of movement, a, a feeling of being static in your life and of feeling yourself becoming uh, eroded in your life energy.